When God called Isaiah to the prophetic office, he first purged his mouth with a burning coal from the golden altar of incense of heaven so he could qualify to speak on his behalf. It is essential to realize that speaking for God is impossible unless some of the character of God is manifested. In our times, we have God's anointed and appointed prophet who God has positioned as a watchman. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa has been assigned to stand on a high place in the spiritual realm as he waits upon the word and instruction of the Lord. His intimacy with Jesus is what makes him to be entrusted with divine revelations and mysteries that he is assigned to relate or translate to God's people. Prophet Makandiwa is no ordinary man, but a man with unprecedented spiritual authority and capacity. This is why God still speaks expressly to us in our days through the man at the center of his heart, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. On the 18th of August 2015, during a Tuesday service at the Jitungwiza Basilica, the Prophet of God took time to share some prophecies with the congregants. One of the prophecies that stood out concerned a prominent personality that he had seen in the realm of the Spirit. Let us relive the prophecy that Prophet Makandiwa gave on the particular day. Now, just like I'm standing here, I can tell you of a situation where I'm seeing a prominent person. So I'm seeing a prominent person being moved from one place to another place and it's, it's happening in the sky. It's happening in the sky. You see, when I say it's happening in the sky, it's not like the person is inside of the cloud. No, the person is in the aircraft so that you know, right? And when the person is inside of the aircraft, there is a need for oxygen to be extracted. There is a panic in the aircraft where they have to pull down one of the oxygen masks so they can try to resuscitate the person. <laughs> and by the time they land, it's no longer a person, it's now a body. But this person, it's happening in the skies. The person is lifted up as if now closer to God, and then the spirit is taken, and the body is left. And it's happening at the highest level in the skies. So if you give a prophecy like that, people might find ways of complicating it. Because even after landing, if people realize that the person is already dead, they'll still try to take the person to the hospital for verifications. And they might keep the person in the hospital for a day or two days. And then the, the person already died in the aircraft. So that they just run away from the prophecy. Because you see, you see, when prophecy is given, you see things happening, you, we are taken to places. <laughs> a prophet is never in one place. Mm. Never. It doesn't happen like that. But you, have you realized that when I speak, when I give prophecies in parables, after the fulfillment, then you will say, but ah, this parable was so open. It was so open, now you understand. Ah. But the day of the prophecy, you thought, ah, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? What is he talking about? <laughs> so many people, when you give prophecies, they don't listen to the conditions. If they listen to the conditions, when a prophet is giving out prophecies, What do you lose if you can have access to the prophet and ask for more clarification rather than investigating secretly? What do you lose? Through his fellowship with the eternal God, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa is given exclusive access 
into the future. As a seer, he is given insight into God's purposes for history. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa always speaks to the present in light of the future that God has revealed to him. Following the initial prophecy given by the man of God on the 18th of April 2015, various local media agencies reported on the prophecy that the man of God had given. Most had their own interpretations as well as speculations with regard to the prophecy. On the 20th of August 2015, Newsday had the headline, Prominent Person to Die in Aeroplane, Makandiwa. On Saturday, the 22nd of August 2015, during the discipleship class, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa returned to elaborate and give more details pertaining to the prophecy that he had given, as well as shed more light on the identity of the subject of the prophecy. Let us take some time to hear what the man of God prophesied during the discipleship class. What's the date today? Sorry? 22. 22. Okay, how many days to go? Six days to go to a such man, night three. Okay, okay, there is a reason why I'm saying this. There is a reason why I'm saying this. You know, you know why we have to shout out the dates and so on, so you remember exactly when I told you what I'm about to tell you. Now. Some few days ago, I gave a prophetic message concerning a personality that I said was a prominent person. You remember? Okay, were you there? Yes. I just want to check whether you people now are able to understand. Did you hear me mentioning the name of the country? I can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> the voice of God is so exciting. It is so exciting. <laughs> and I said that I'm seeing them rushing to and fro trying to resuscitate the person, to bring the person back to life. By the time they land, is this person still a person or is it just a body? And I said they would try to delay. But did I mention the country? So if we talk of prominent people, prominent people that are always in Zimbabwe. OK, this is the situation. It is because we have people that really are following us, who are just not prepared to be our followers. They haven't really made up their minds to really become our official followers, but they are following. And I never said I will elaborate on that. Never. But these are things that we see and sometimes we say them out in order for us to sit down and see what can be done. When I said it, it wasn't an issue of me then going to pray about it after I had already said it. No, I prayed about it. And the picture was so clear. And I saw everything and I saw where exactly it is going to take place. Like I said, it is in the sky. And I know the minutes, even the hours after takeoff. And I know the person that I'm talking about. But my concern is why should people try to guess even before the death of the prophet? 
it wasn't your prophecy in the first place. You never saw anything about that. It was given to you by somebody. If that thing is confusing you, consult the prophet. <laughs> so we need to pray because what I'm trying to do now is to get in touch with uh, the responsible people because the person that I'm seeing might seem to be okay now. But what I'm trying to do now as a prophet is to advise the people. So, what I have to do, even as a, as a prophet, is when you see something happening, certain things you pray, and God will find his own ways of avoiding it and stopping it and so on. But certain things, maybe God might give you an instruction to advise. And we do that. I've done that to several people where I get a message and I know this is going to happen on this particular day at this particular place. And these are the people that are going to be involved. And I have got my own ways of communicating and sending the message across, whether in form of writing, whether I call, but I always do that. And one thing I like about the God that we are serving, when a prophecy is given and we pray against it, I've seen it working in a very marvelous way. I've seen it. I've seen it. I'm going to give you a lot of prophecies concerning what is going to be happening. So just, 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 just bear with me, please. So we need to pray because my advice to the people and the family members would be for them to make sure that they provide what I've already mentioned in the prophecy. Because like I said, I said, I'm seeing them trying to just get one of the oxygen masks from the, from the, from the roof of the, of the aircraft. But is it going to work? Is it not too late? But how can that be avoided? My own conversation between me and them has to be carry something. You have to carry a container. Before taking off, there has to be a container where there is enough oxygen. You see? <laughs> what I'm telling you is what is in the letter to the person. Now, but it is so clear even in the letter because myself, I tried also to pray for life. But up to now, I haven't seen light. I haven't seen light, but it can be delayed. And it would end up happening in a different place, no longer up there, but down here, M East. That is, if they can follow what I'm seeing here, it has to be carried. And they don't just have to use it anyhow. They will know that, oh, what we are seeing now, it's exactly the prophecy that was given. They will not use it anyhow. They will see it happening before they can use it. They will know, hmm, this thing is now taking place. Let's quickly use this and the person is resuscitated, but taken to a place. Some few days, but still, it will happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It will happen. 
Imagine you give a prophecy and you advise a person to fight against your own prophecy. That's a test to the prophet himself. If it was you, you would have wanted it to, to happen exactly the way that you saw it. Yes. So that's the temptation that Jonah faced. <laughs> After he gave a prophetic word, he wanted it to happen again. So, we need to pray. And why I had seen something to do with oxygen is because the person already has started developing some breathing problems. So I don't know what, 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 what goes wrong up there, but but I saw it. But you know the person. And we still need to pray. I haven't seen light up to now. But maybe as we continue praying, if you can join me in prayer, maybe, maybe. But the person that I saw, I saw him standing, him, I saw him standing. Now I saw the person standing and he was divided into two. And the other side of his body, he was wearing white. and he was holding an injection. And the other side, he was wearing a camouflage and he was holding an AK-47. I saw him climbing a ladder. And when he got to 70, I was counting the steps. When he got to 70, the rest of the steps were now fragile. The rest of the steps were now fragile. So the person is in his 70s. Okay. So whether he survives to step on the next ladder. We have to pray. We have to pray. Is there anybody here who has a name that starts with a letter F? Okay, okay just stand, just stand. I just want to see you. just want to see you. And do we also have a person here? Maybe even the same people that have stood up with a surname that starts with an M. No, of the same people that I've called first. How about MU? Just one person, come. <laughs> Let's all rise up and pray for him. Lira basiata le te kebro so do bo bo cha asoto ko do bo sia kabara Lira basiata le ka bo bo cha hatu Le prakosa prada kasa ke kasu 
Jesus name. In Jesus name. You may be seated. You can sit. You can sit. You can sit. You can sit. Based on the prophecies that the man of God gave pertaining to one prominent personality, it is crucial to note that God communicated about impending deaths through his prophets in the Old Testament. In the Bible, we have an example of Isaiah who was assigned to warn Hezekiah that he would die. 2 Kings 20 verse 1 In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa's ability to accurately state the future is indeed a mark of God. Exactly 297 days, which is also 42 weeks and 3 days after the last prophecy, given on the 22nd of August 2015. On the 14th of June 2016, news broke out in Zimbabwe concerning the death of retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa, who had died whilst in Egypt. The Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation also reported on the death of retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa. Now, a delegation comprising family members and government officials will be heading for Egypt to arrange for the repatriation of the body of Special Disability Advisor in the Office of the President and War Veteran, retired Brigadier General Felix Mchema, who died on Sunday in Egypt. Plans are underway for the repatriation of the Board of Special Disability Advisor in the Office of the President and former Minister of Health, retired Brigadier General Felix Mchema, who died in Egypt. Just as Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa had accurately prophesied, retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa was indeed a prominent personality. The term prominent refers to an individual that is important, well-known, distinguished, notable, public, outstanding, or influential. The term prominent accurately depicts retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa. Born in Mondoro Ngezi on April 22, 1945, in a family of four boys, and three girls. Retired Brigadier General Muchemwa did his schooling at St. Michael's Primary School and Kutama Mission before going to Fletcher High School. Good at identifying exceptional talent, the Rhodesian government quickly snapped the young Muchemwa by awarding him a full scholarship at Fletcher High School and thereafter enrolled at the University of Rhodesia in 1967. In 1973, he qualified with an MBCHB at Birmingham University and immediately obtained an FRCS in May 1975. He later joined the prestigious Birmingham Department of Anatomy as a lecturer and researcher, leading him to an MSc in Anatomy at the end of 1976 after which he proceeded to join the surgical rotation within the Birmingham area in January 1977. Given such a rich professional and personal history, it was thus least expected of Dr. Muchemwa to abandon the seemingly comfortable life in England for the rugged and uncertain future of makeshift camps in Mozambique. He was amongst the first qualified medical doctors to join the liberation struggle in Zimbabwe. Apart from being a decorated war veteran, retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa was one of the former ministers of health in Zimbabwe. At his time of death, retired Brigadier General was the first special disability advisor in the office of the President of Zimbabwe and Cabinet. Just as Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa had prophesied, retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa would be moved from one place to another. So I'm seeing a prominent person being moved from one place to another place. To confirm the prophecy, retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa's condition of peripheral neuropath which affects the nerves required him to get medical attention. This resulted in him making a trip to Egypt, which Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa had accurately prophesied. Research has shown that peripheral neuropath affects one's autonomic nerves. These autonomic nerves carry information to the organs and glands inside the body. They help to control some of the bodily functions that are not consciously directed. For example, the regular beating of the heart, breathing and many more. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa was spot on when he prophesied that an incident involving a prominent person would happen in an aeroplane in the sky. It's happening in the sky. You see, when I say it's happening in the sky, it's not like the person is inside of the cloud. No, the person is in the aircraft. So that you know. 
Retired Brigadier General Felix Muchema had to be flown by air to Egypt so he could get medical attention that he required. A report by the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation stated that retired Brigadier General Muchemwa has succumbed to peripheral neuropath, which affects the nerves. In an interview, son to the late war veteran Fungai Makoni Muchemwa revealed that his father died from peripheral neuropath cancer. Considering that retired Brigadier General had been flown to seek medical attention, he had eventually been declared dead in a hospital. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied about the loss of life. In his prophecy, he mentioned that he could see people rushing to and fro, trying to resuscitate the person and bring them back to life. There is a panic in the aircraft where they have to pull down one of the oxygen masks so they can try to resuscitate the person. If prayers were not to be made, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa could see a situation where the prominent person would die in the air. And by the time they land, it's no longer a person, it's now a body. But this person is happening in the skies. The person is lifted up as if now closer to God, and then the spirit is taken and the board is left. And on a separate occasion on the 22nd of August during the discipleship class, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa elaborated further on the prophecy and he began by revealing where exactly the unfortunate incident would take place. And I saw everything and I saw where exactly it is going to take place. Remember, retired Brigadier General Muchemwa did not pass on in Zimbabwe, but in Egypt. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that he was aware of the minutes and hours after takeoff. And I know the minutes, even the hours after takeoff. This means that Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa knew the exact hours and minutes after takeoff when the first signs of his journey to his death would begin. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that he prophetically knew the person that he was talking about, though it was an individual he had never met in his lifetime. And I know the person that I'm talking about. As a prophet, God has given him all the details regarding retired Brigadier General Muchemwa. However, Owing to the divine principles, he had to withhold the information. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that the person that he was seeing seemed to be okay at the time of the prophecy, yet things would soon change. Because the person that I'm seeing might seem to be okay now. It is apparent that retired Brigadier General Muchemwa would have been fine medically 10 months prior to his passing, meaning that he was in no critical state as he was going about his work-related responsibilities as usual. Remember, this is a man who was the Special Disability Advisor in the Office of the President of Zimbabwe and Cabinet. The issue of life was the challenge at hand. Since Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa had not managed to see light through, he had tried to stand in the gap praying for life. Because myself, I tried also to pray for life. But up to now, I haven't seen light. According to Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, the incident could actually be delayed from happening in the sky to happening on the ground, owing to the power of prayer. I haven't seen light, but it can be delayed. In the Bible, Hezekiah's death was delayed owing to the power of prayer. In like manner, just as Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa had prophesied, and also owing to the power of his prayer to the Lord, which is a condition that he had stipulated in the prophecy, retired Brigadier General Muchemwa was given a grace period of life and the incident was avoided from happening in the sky. Owing to prayer and adherence to prophetic instruction, the incident would also happen in a different place, no longer up in the sky, but on the ground instead. And it would end up happening in a different place, no longer up there, but down here. One thing that's mind boggling and amazing is that Prophet Emmanuel Makandio went on further to prophesy the exact location of the incident, M East, which is short for Middle East. No longer up there, but down here. 
M East. Also called the Mid East or abbreviated M East, is a transcontinental region centered on Western Asia and Egypt. But hang on, here's what's mind blowing. Retired Brigadier General Muchenwa was in the Middle Eastern country of Egypt at the time of his death, as prophesied by Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. This means that the Prophet could not only see the death of this man, but he was also very sure about the location of this sad incident, M East, which is Middle East. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that the family or close people would see his prophetic word manifesting and they would know that this was exactly what he had been prophesying about. That is if they can follow what I'm seeing here. It has to be carried. And they don't just have to use it anyhow. They will know that, oh, what we are seeing now, it's exactly the prophecy that was given. They will not use it anyhow. They will see it happening before they can use it. They will know, mm, this thing is now taking place. When the body of the late retired Brigadier General arrived back in Zimbabwe at the military parlor in Harare, the widow of the late retired Brigadier General narrated her conversation with the doctor who was attending to the late retired Brigadier General's health condition in his last moments before passing on in Egypt. The first night, she had the first night it's 10 o'clock or 10 to 10. He had another heart attack at 3 o'clock. And then he had another one at 4 o'clock. So the doctor says, Saka, what do you mean by that? And in this case, our mortality rate is 99.9%. But we still had hope that something would happen. As stated by the widow of the late retired Brigadier General, the late retired Brigadier General suffered three cardiorespiratory attacks, which in layman's terms are known as heart attacks. Remember, the late retired Brigadier General suffered from peripheral neuropath, and some of the life-threatening symptoms of peripheral neuropath include difficulty breathing and loss of breathing functionality. Loss of breathing functionality causes cardiac respiratory arrest. In order to resuscitate and restore spontaneous blood circulation and breathing in a person who is in cardiorespiratory arrest, an emergency procedure called cardiac pulmonary resuscitation, also known as CPR, is undertaken by providing oxygen to the affected individual orally or by using an oxygen mask. As stated by Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, there was a need to supply oxygen masks in order to resuscitate the late retired Brigadier General Muchemwa. On the other hand, if the family could follow the prophetic instruction, they would be able to resuscitate their patient and have a few days with him. Let's quickly use this and the person is resuscitated. Can I draw your attention to this next part? Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa did something that I find staggeringly incredible. Let's watch the video. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you missed it, my question now is, when did retired Brigadier General Muchenwa pass on? He died on the 12th of June 2016, just as Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa had parabolically said by counting numbers up to 12. It would not make sense to count up to 12. It's an awkward number to stop at. Usually stopping at numbers 5, 10, 15 or 20 would make sense. This was deliberate, which means he knew very well that he was talking about the day the late Brigadier General would die. As Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa explained the reason why he saw the need for an oxygen tank on the plane, he stated that the late retired Brigadier General had started developing some breathing problems, as he illustrated this by waving his hand over the left side of his chest, which is where the heart is located, meaning that Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa was figuratively prophesying that these breathing problems were going to trigger a cardiac respiratory attack, commonly known as a heart attack. And why I had seen something to do with oxygen is because the person already has started developing some breathing problems. Remember, the condition of peripheral neuropath which retired Brigadier General Muchemwa had affects the autonomic nerves. These autonomic nerves carry information to the organs and glands inside the body. They help to control some of the bodily functions that are not consciously directed. For example, 
the beating of the heart and breathing. This is really deep and accurate prophecy, considering that firstly, his medical condition was not public knowledge. Moreover, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa had never met or interacted whatsoever with the late retired Brigadier General or any of his close associates up to the point of his death. Uncertainty surrounded retired Brigadier General Muchenwa's life being restored even after prayer because Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa could not see the light. And we still need to pray. I haven't seen light up to now. But maybe as we continue praying, if you can join me in prayer, maybe, maybe. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that the person he was referring to was of the male gender. But the person that I saw I saw him standing, him, I saw him standing. It was a man, retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa, who was the subject of the prophecy. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that he could see the person divided into two. Now I saw the person standing and he was divided into two. On one side of his body, he was wearing white and holding an injection. And on the other side, he was wearing a camouflage and holding an AK-47 and the other side of his body. He was wearing white. And he was holding an injection. And the other side, he was wearing a camouflage. And he was holding an AK-47. This illustration resembles the following. The white side of retired Brigadier General Muchemwa, where he was wearing white and holding an injection, represents a side of him that he was a highly qualified medical doctor who learned and practiced medicine in the United Kingdom before he came and joined other doctors in the liberation struggle, where he continued to practice as a doctor. He was then appointed as a Minister of Health in the Zimbabwe cabinet and held many other medical offices, including serving in the office of the president as a special disability advisor. The other side where he was wearing a camouflage and holding an AK-47 resembles the fact that he was not only a Liberation War veteran, but he served in the Zimbabwe Defense Forces where he rose through the ranks to become a Brigadier General. On the 14th of June, the Herald had the headline, Brigadier General Muchemwa dies. Part of the story had a testimony from his former workmate, where he said retired Brigadier General Muchemwa is one of the few stalwarts of the liberation struggle who sacrificed his job in the medical field for the liberation struggle. I worked under him as a medical assistant, where he was a medical doctor, and he was passionate about the liberation struggle. He wore several medals for his bravery. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa also prophesied about retired Brigadier General Muchemwa's age. And when he got to 70, I was counting the steps when he got to 70. Let's take a closer look. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa had counted the stairs up to 70. Let's go back and look at the age of retired Brigadier General at the time of the prophecy. He was born in April 1945, and this prophecy was given on the 22nd of August 2015. Calculating backwards, this would make him exactly 70 years at the time the prophecy was given by Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Spot on! He even went further and clearly prophesied that the man he was talking about was in his 70s. So the person is in his 70s. Okay. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that once retired Brigadier General Muchemwa reached 70, the rest of the steps were now fragile. I was counting the steps when he got to 70. The rest of the steps were now fragile. The rest of the steps were now fragile. Though retired Brigadier General Muchemwa could survive to step on the next ladder, there would really be a need to pray since there was no light. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa could not see him surviving past the age of 71 years. But whether he survives to step on the next ladder, we have to pray. This is confirmed by the fact that at the age of 71 years, retired Brigadier General Muchemwa lost his life just as Prophet Makandiwa had prophesied. 
To show the accuracy and flow of the prophetic, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa went a step further to prophesy the first letters of retired Brigadier Muchemwa's name and surname. Is there anybody here who has a name that starts with a letter F? Okay. Okay, just stand, just stand. I just want to see you. Just want to see you. And do we also have a person here? Maybe even the same people that have stood up with a synonym that starts with an M. No, of the same people that I've called first. In his illustration, he realized that many people in that discipleship class had the initials F and M. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa then went further again and prophesied the second letter of the retired Brigadier General's name, which is a U. How about M-U? After this stage, he got only one person whom he then used as a point of contact to pray for the life of the retired Brigadier General. Just one person, come. Let's all rise up and pray for him. All right, all right, let's back up a little bit. Remember, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa was spot on and very clear when he said him, meaning he was talking about a male figure. It really looks like Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa gave another clue in his choice of a point of contact. It was a man that he chose. If you really want to see how deep the prophetic unction is upon Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, consider this. This prophecy was given on the 22nd and the late Brigadier General Muchemwa's birth date is the 22nd. Is it a coincidence? Or it's the prophetic unction upon Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa that hides clues in riddles, just as Jesus used to hide kingdom secrets in plain sight. As he said in Matthew 13 verse 13, This is why I speak to them in riddles. Though seeing, they do not see. Though hearing, they do not hear or understand. In them, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled. You will be ever hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. But we thank the Lord Jesus because he gives his servant, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, his prophetic word in riddles. And he also gives him the translation for us to understand. On Friday, the 17th of June, the body of the late retired Brigadier General arrived at the Harare International Airport from Egypt. On the same day, he was accorded the national hero status. The president of the Republic of Zimbabwe, His Excellency Robert Gabriel Mugabe had this to say about the late Brigadier General during his burial ceremony at the National Heroes Acre on Sunday the 19th of June. Dakara <laughs> As a brigadier, I stuck as a minister of it. This is the summary of what the man of God prophesied. Number one, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied about a prominent person. Number two, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that this person would be moved from one place to another place. Number three, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa was spot on when he prophesied that this activity would take place in the sky if prayers were not made. Number four, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa further accurately prophesied that this incident would happen in the sky inside an aircraft if prayers were not made. Number five, with his eagle-eyed precision, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that there would be need for oxygen to be extracted owing to a panic in the aircraft and this was an instruction that had to be followed by those that would be with the general as they traveled. Number six, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa precisely prophesied that there would be need to extract oxygen masks and try to resuscitate the prominent figure that he was talking about. Number seven, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa 
were explicitly prophesied that the responsible people close to this person might keep the person in hospital for a day or two. Number eight, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa meticulously prophesied that he could see people rushing to and fro, trying to resuscitate the person and bring them back to life. Number nine, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that if prayers were not made to delay this event, by the time they would land the aircraft, the person would just be a body since their spirit would have departed after death. We thank God for Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa because in a display of his spiritual authority, he prayed and delayed this catastrophe from happening in the sky and caused it to happen on the ground instead. Remember, he had promised to pray for it to happen this way. Number 10. With pinpoint accuracy, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that he could see where exactly the incident would take place. Number 11. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa astoundingly prophesied that he was aware of the hours and even minutes that the signs of the death of the retired Brigadier General would start showing after the plane takes off. Number 12. With unwavering certainty, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that he prophetically knew the person he was talking about. And note, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa never met retired Brigadier General Muchemwa up to the point of his death. Number 13. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that the person that he was seeing seemed to be okay at the time of the prophecy, yet things would change. Number 14. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that though he had tried to pray for life, however, he had not managed to see light. This was remarkably accurate because Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa was very sure that we were going to lose retired Brigadier General Muchemwa, which is what eventually happened. Number 15. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that the incident would also happen in a different place, no longer up in the sky, but on the ground, owing to the intervention of prayer and adherence to prophetic instruction. Number 16. In a display of prophetic prowess, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa further prophesied the exact location where retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa would die when he mentioned M East, meaning Middle East. The retired Brigadier General had been flown to seek medical treatment in Egypt, which is located in the Middle East. Number 17. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, being a man who has access to even the innermost thoughts and intentions of man, prophesied that the family or close people would see his prophetic word manifesting and they would know that this was exactly what he had been prophesying about. The widow of the late retired Brigadier General Muchemwa confirmed with the people that had gathered to mourn with her that the late retired Brigadier General Muchemwa suffered multiple cardiac respiratory attacks on different occasions in Egypt. Number 18. With divine ability to know the outcome of events, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that if the family could follow his prophetic instruction, they would be able to resuscitate their patient and have a few days with him. Number 19. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied the day the late Brigadier General would die by counting up to the number 12 as he gave more information about the General's death in a parable. Number 20. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa precisely prophesied that retired Brigadier General Muchemwa has started developing some breathing problems. This is one of the symptoms of the condition that he suffered from, peripheral neuropath. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa figuratively prophesied by waving his right hand over the left side of his chest to signify that these breathing problems will trigger cardiac respiratory arrest. Number 21. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that the person he was referring to was one of the male gender. It was a man who was the subject of the prophecy. Number 22. As being a custodian of divine secrets with an eye that can see with astounding clarity, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that he could see the person divided into two. On one side of his body, he was wearing white and he was holding an injection. And on the other side, he was wearing a camouflage and he was holding an AK-47. 
The white side represents a side of him that he was a highly qualified medical doctor. He learnt and practiced medicine in the United Kingdom before he came and joined other doctors in the liberation struggle where he continued to practice as a doctor. He was then appointed as a Minister of Health in the Zimbabwe cabinet and held many other medical offices including serving in the office of the President of Zimbabwe as a special disability advisor. The other side where he was wearing a camouflage and holding an AK-47 resembles the fact that he was not only a Liberation War veteran but he served in the Zimbabwe Defense Forces where he rose through the ranks to become a Brigadier General. Number 23. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied about retired Brigadier General Felix Muchemwa's age as he counted through a flight of stairs till he reached the number 70. Number 24. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa even went further and clearly prophesied that the man he was talking about was in his 70s. Number 25. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that once retired Brigadier General Muchemwa reached 70, the rest of the steps were now fragile. Number 26. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that though retired Brigadier General Muchemwa could survive to step onto the next ladder, there would really be a need to pray since there was no light. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa could not see him surviving past the age of 71 years. Number 27. To seal this undoubtable prophecy, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied the first letter of the retired Brigadier General's name, which is F for Felix. Number 28. To further clarify this spectacular prophecy, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied the first two letters of the retired Brigadier General's surname, which are M and U for Muchemwa. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa is a man who has intimate and profound communication with God. The fulfillment of this prophecy and many others that Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa has given is an indication that he is a true prophet. He carries the weight of God's words in his heart and he carries the power that accompanies the words that he speaks. Life is found in the words that Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa speaks as he echoes the voice of God. Such a prophet should be feared because of his ability to speak things that come to pass. On behalf of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa and Prophetess Ruth Makandiwa and the entire United Family International Church, we would like to express our deepest condolences to the Muchemwa family and the nation of Zimbabwe on the loss of this liberation war hero and national leader. To God be the glory.